Yellowstone supervolcano, how a huge banana-shaped magma pocket was discovered. They're always discovering something new because they're studying, researching, monitoring. This is by Callum Hoare on Express UK, according to what USGS has revealed, has uh, stated to them. Yellowstone volcano has a huge banana-shaped reservoir of hot, partly molten rock hidden beneath the supervolcano, as the geologists reveal. The Yellowstone caldera gets its label as a supervolcano, one of the most dangerous in the world, because of its capability to inflict devastation worldwide if another super eruption takes place. An event of this kind has occurred three times recently, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago were the super eruptions. However, researchers at the University of Utah were stunned in 2015 because they discovered and uh, produced images of a reservoir of hot, partly molten rock 12 to 28 miles underneath the surface. This hot rock is in a chamber 4.4 times larger than the shallower, long-known tunnel previously mapped, according to USGS. Four and a half times larger. Bob Smith, who worked on this project, told my Yellowstone that the banana-shaped chamber was bringing lava and tremendous amounts of heat up through the Earth's mantle. He said, quote, that's how the plumbing works. The actual hazard is the same, but now we have a much better understanding of the complete crustal magma system. And as we know, uh, they have confirmed that Yellowstone has a hotspot plume underneath, just like, for example, Hawaii, Kilauea, Mauna Loa. We know Mauna Loa, Hawaii, and Loihi Seamount all share the same magma chamber, which is above, of course, the hotspot plume, the magma plume. Well, it's the same thing here. There's another hotspot here underneath the mantle. And under, on top of that is the huge magma reservoir, which feeds the magma chamber. And then you have that tremendous amount of hydrothermal activity that we have in Yellowstone. Yellowstone has over 60% of the world's geysers. And the biggest geyser of the world, Steamboat Geyser, which has been uh, very active since last March, with uh, over 30 eruptions last year and surpassing that this year. So this is what they're, uh, they have uh, imaged. Sing Kwa Huang, who is the lead researcher, said the first time we have imaged the continuous volcanic plumbing under Yellowstone. That includes the upper crustal magma chamber. We have seen previous, plus a lower crustal magma reservoir that has never been imaged before and that connects the upper chamber to the Yellowstone hotspot plume below it. Okay? Now, despite beliefs, these magma chambers are not full of molten rock ready to erupt, as we saw in the previous video before this one having to do with the... Um, uh, what they thought was an extinct uh, Russian volcano. They didn't, even, they didn't even have it on the listing of Russian volcanoes because it was extinct. Well, it has filled with magma and it's ready to blow. Um, so that's not the case here. It's not molten rock as the Russian volcano is molten rock filled and ready to blow. This one here is not molten rock ready to erupt. Instead, it's mostly solid, sponge-like rock with pockets of magma. Jamie Farrell, who is the co-author on the paper, well, he said he emphasized that the discovery does not mean that Yellowstone is any closer to erupting. And he said the magma chamber and the reservoir are not getting any bigger than they have been. It's just that we can see them better now using these new techniques. Also, Fan Chi Lin, who is another co-author, explained that it gives us a better understanding of the Yellowstone magmatic system. He says we can now use these new models to better estimate potential seismic and volcanic hazards. Uh, okay, just uh, before I forget, 
uh, it's concerning magma plumes. Uh, we know that these are connected uh, throughout the world, and if we have one jolt of uh, the uh, magma somewhere, for example, across the pond of uh, the Pacific Ocean, it may have an effect towards the other side of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, we see that many a time that, for example, Yellowstone earthquakes have had effect on, uh, which is, has a magma hot spot, magma plume underneath, has an effect on the magma plume of Hawaii. There was a big earthquake that they had in Yellowstone a couple of decades ago, and that had an effect on Hawaii in that it um, had an effect on the water wells, reducing the water in the wells. Something shifted. So you have that kind of a connection, you see. All right, so Fan Chi Li said it better gives us a better understanding of the magmatic system. We can now use these new models to better estimate potential seismic and volcanic hazards. Three supervolcano eruptions at Yellowstone, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana border, cover much of the North America in volcanic ash, as we know the super, we're talking about the super eruptions. The supervolcano, if it were to erupt today, of course, would be cataclysmic. But Dr. Smith says the annual chance is one in 700,000 annually. The discovery of this new uh, body, you know, how everything connects under Yellowstone, does not mean that the supervolcano is any closer to erupting, despite claims that it's overdue, some geologists say. Researchers working for USGS stated this theory could not be farther from the truth. Their website reads, first of all, one cannot present recurrent intervals based on only two values. It would be statistically meaningless. But for those who insist, they say, let's do the arithmetic. The three eruptions occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 0 0.64 million years ago. The two intervals are thus 0.8. 0.66 million years ago, averaging to a 0.73 million year interval. Again, the last eruption was 0 0.64 million years ago, implying that we're still about 90,000 years away from the time when we get closer, uh, considering uh, Yellowstone overdue for another super eruption, caldera forming eruption. Nevertheless, they say we cannot discount the possibility of another such eruption occurring sometime in the future given Yellowstone's volcanic history and the continued presence of magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera, end quote. Of course, that's what some scientists say. Others, other geologists say it's overdue, and uh, others say that uh, it's a magma plume underneath. You never know how this thing is. It's a volcano. You never know how this thing is going to react. For example, the USGS had a list come out last fall with the threat, high threat volcanoes of California, and they had listed the cost of volcanic field as moderate, and look at the thousands of quakes we're getting there every day. Okay, so you never know. With a volcanic uh, area, you never know. Just like, for example, the ex extinct volcano of the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, which is now ready to blow, it is filled with magma. Okay, so I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help 
the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.